Hello everybody, Christy Glass here of Christy Glass Knits and today I have a very special guide for you. It is your guide to Stitches West. I'm so sad I will not be able to go to Stitches West this year, but I know so many of you are going and are so excited to do some shopping and some class taking. And one of my missions here is to connect you all together. So I wanted to spend some time today letting you know who's going to be at Stitches West that perhaps you've seen here on Christy Glass Knits. Before we get started, I wanted to thank today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Lolo Body Care. As you know, I am a huge, huge fan of Lolo Body Care. And I've just to this point only used one product which is the Lolo Body Bar, and it is the Head to Toe Moisturizer Quick Absorbing Eco Luscious, I am obsessed with that term, Eco Luscious Body Bar. You just open up this tin and inside is the bar. You rub it on your hands and then you are in moisturizer heaven. But they don't just have the Lolo Body Bar, they have so many different products. Artisan hand soaps, lip balms, deodorant. They have various sizes of the bar. They have a Southern Comfort Bar for those who live in very hot climates. Face Pudding, Fine Line Serum, Cuticle Intensive. The list goes on and on. They have so many amazing products. I love their motto. Skin care should lie in soulful intention crafted by thoughtful hands. That's us. They're talking about us. It's artisan quality. I love that it's not liquid, so you can travel with it everywhere. I have one in just about every project bag, and this is what I love to do. I love to put it on my hands, and then, my hands smell so good, and then I knit my project, and then my project starts smelling like my hands. And my favorite scent is Hookah Girl. Next to the name of the scent is all of the, the scents that are in it. So for example, Hookah Girl, has rose, green tea, iris, and tobacco. And I had no idea that that was what was in this until I was doing some research for this promo. And one of my favorite candles is also tobacco. So there's something about that scent that really resonates with me. As I was reading through the different scents, I've actually, I've actually smelled all of them and Hookah Girl is my very favorite. But as I was reading through them, I was intrigued by a few others. So Pearl Knits, just lilac and ginger and amber. And I also found that there are 0.05 ounce little sample travel sizes. They're called Loves, L-O-V-S, on the website. And if you buy six, you get 10% off. So it's like a try before you buy situation. So I would just encourage you to sit down, read through some of those scents, and pick out six of your favorites and purchase them so that you can get on your way to finding the exact right scent. Because if you're not able to see Lolo Bar in person and smell them all yourself, this is a wonderful option for you and it comes highly recommended by me. I love Lolo Body Care so much. Check out their website, lolobody.com. I will put a link to it underneath this video. There is so much great information there. I learned that if you buy one of their eco bags, they plant a tree. Lolo Body Care is really into sustainable packaging, so I didn't know this but I can just purchase the refill. I don't have to buy a whole new tin. I did not know that. So I'm very excited to purchase my refills for the tins that I already have. Love that. I also learned that I can put this in my hair for shine and frizz control, which I am very excited about because guess what? Then my hair is gonna smell good too. Oh, I'm so excited. Make sure you check out lolobody.com and also please, please, please check them out at Stitches West. And thank you so much, Lolo Body Care, for sponsoring today's guide. This guide is in alphabetical order. It just makes it easier that way. I'm gonna tell you about the company, where to find them at Stitches West, and then how they're associated with Christy Glass Knits. Sound good? Let's start off with Beautiful Sister. I first learned about Beautiful Sister bags when I went to Yarn Con in Chicago. There's just a little mini video of them on my channel in my coverage of Yarn Con in Chicago. They will be in booth 1345. I love their project bags. They have all different sizes. You can wear them on your body, on your arm, for an on-the-go situation. And then you can also 
transform it into a bit of a bucket bag so that when you get to your destination, you can sit down and continue your knitting. I also really love their tiny little notions pouches and it's a sister duo and they're colorful and fun and just, I love their booth so much that it has such a great vibe. In their booth at Stitches West, which is booth 1345, they will have shawl kits with Emma's yarn and a shawl designed by Laura Dobratz. They have the Unicat bag, which is a, a cat, cartoon cat with, I believe a unicorn horn. And they'll have the newest issue of Nomadic Knits. So Nomadic Knits is someone they partner with a lot. So go check out their booth for all of those goodies. In booth 617, you will see Black Cat Fibers. Now I haven't had Black Cat Fibers on the channel. I had arranged to have an interview with them when I was in Wisconsin and there was a family emergency that made that not happen. However, I have this beautiful hat that the owner of Bliss Yarns in Tennessee knit for me out of their fibers. So that is why you know about Black Cat Fibers. In their booth, they will have the Nomad Sock and Essential DK bases in many of their gorgeous colors. They really push the envelope with colors. They have a silk base that you can get on their website. Not sure if they will have it at the booth, but it's definitely going to be on their website if you can't make it to Stitches West. They have a ton of different samples in their booth. I've seen their booth at YarnCon, and their motto is color outside the line. So if you want a color explosion, head on over to Black Cat Fibers in booth 617. Canon Hand Dyes is also one that has not really been on my channel as far as an interview goes, but I feel like I featured them in one of the first times that I saw them at a, at, a, at a festival, and I don't know if I can link to it, but I just wanted to make you aware of Canon Hand Dyes because the woman who dyes the yarn is she's so sweet, and I love all of her samples, and she's going to be um, next to Dragonfly Fibers, which Canon Hand Dyes now owns Dragonfly Fibers. So it's kind of putting all of these pieces together. Dragonfly Fibers made an appearance on my channel when they were at the Maryland Sheep and Wool Festival, and then shortly thereafter announced that they were going to be closing down. But I'm so happy to report that Canon Hand Dyes has purchased Dragonfly. So in their booth, they will have Polar Opposites, which is 250 gram self striping skeins dyed to stripe in opposite matched skeins. Okay, so you can have like mismatched socks, so fun. And then um, they will have Harry Potter themed polar opposites on the website after Stitches West. So that's something to look forward to if you can't make it to Stitches West. They'll have gradient cakes and self-striping yarn, and they'll have the pinstripe dyed colorways. And I don't know if she's still doing this, but something that caught my eye when I first was aware of Canon Hand Dyes is they have literary themed like mini skein bundles, which are so fun. So you can kind of find your favorite book and get the mini skeins to match. So I don't know if she'll have that, but that's something that first drew me into Canon Hand Dyes. And I'm happy to know about this collaboration. So Dragonfly Fibers will be in booth 729 and 731, right next to Canon Hand Dyes. They'll have new colorways, Feather Dance, Firefall, and Proud Mary on the Super Traveler base. They'll have a mix of vibrant and deep, rich colorways to choose from. So it's going to be really fun to see those two right next to each other. Coco Knits, I've talked about Coco Knits before because I love their stitch markers and I've tried out their leather um, like project holder. It's like a, a long little leather string. But you have heard of Gigi Made It and she will be their guest on Saturday. She'll have a meet and greet from one to two and she will have her favorite Coco Knits patterns with her. And also they'll have their favorite goodies like stitch markers, tools, notions, and patterns all together at their booth. Erin Lane Bags has been on my channel because of Bliss Yarns. Again, she carries the Erin Lane Bags. They will be debuting their decades collection of bags from the 50s to the thousands. They'll have, they are machine washable bags with all different patterns and I've seen them in person. They really are all different patterns. They'll have knit packs that are needle holders, which is really good. If you are new to knitting and you don't have a needle holder yet, it's time to get a needle holder. It's an essential tool. Be on the lookout for some fun sheep humor in some of the Erin Lane Bags. and make sure you use the hashtag sheepleverse because I think that's the hashtag that they're using at Erin Lane Bex. Green Mountain Spinnery is my go-to. I say go to Green Mountain and get your sweaters quantity. They're such lovely people. They took me on a whole amazing mill tour, which I will include in a link underneath this video. Please, please send my love to them and tell them hello. They have a new deep blue colorway that is that, that is new to them. They will have some naturally dyed yarns. I love their mountain mohair base. It's so fun because it has this great halo. Make sure you shop there with intention and find the perfect 
sweater pattern for a sweater and they will walk you through what are the best options for them and they have wonderful colors, wonderful bases and sweaters quantity, so much fun. Get that souvenir at Stitches West because they're all the way from Vermont. Handspun Hope was on like a two second clip of my Vogue Knitting Live 2020 recap and I didn't have a chance to speak to them but it's something that has come up over and over again so I wanna start calling attention to Handspun Hope and figuring out more about it. It's Ethiopian cotton yarn in naturally dyed colors. It helps to employ 124 marginalized women and widows in Rwanda. It's a member of the Fair Trade Federation and they have Rwandan inspired set of colorways. When I saw them at Vogue, I also noticed close by there were some skirts made out of what looked like to me, I think it was African wax print. I don't know if they're associated with Hand Spun Hope or not, but I just love what they're doing. I think it's really important work and I want to know more, so they made it into the guide. Heidi and Lana is a yarn company that I discovered in at YarnCon in Chicago. So I have not done a formal interview, but I love their kits and I picked one up for one of my patrons. They they package them in this cute little like corrugated cardboard and have a stitch marker on it, so adorable. Heidi and Lana were the names of her and her sister's pet lambs they got from their dad as a child, so that is so beloved, I love that. They have the Moment Kit there, which is a beautiful striped chevron scarf. They have, I can attest, beautiful stitch markers with different colored stones. They'll have their homestead, they'll have their homestead fingering and DK weights. Meadow DK and fingering weights, which is a 50-50 merino alpaca, and knitting jewelry. You cannot go wrong if you stop by Heidi and Lana. Knitted Wit is going to be there, and I first learned about Knitted Wit when I went to TNNA. So you might see some Knitted Wit in like a haul video from TNNA years ago, and they will have their fairy floss yarn mohair with many bright and solid colors. They have the most amazing colors. They're having an Aran Shimmer Base, which I want to know everything about the Aran Shimmer Base. Please someone get the Aran Shimmer Base in a sweater's quantity because I want that yarn. They have a rainbow of colors to choose from and they really love to see how fiber and color interacts. It's one of their, it's one of their philosophies. In 2020, they're having a Her Story Knit Along and you can get the yarn to knit the cowl um, and you can find out all about it on Facebook and Instagram, so I will link to that underneath this video. Lady Di is gonna be there, she's been on my channel before and she will have vibrant colors inspired by graffiti with some potential new colorways. It's always good to stop by a dyer that you're a fan of to see what new things they have going on. She'll have shirts like the new Badass Craftivist shirt um, and the Salty Crafter shirt, love that idea. She'll have a collaboration with Nerdbird Makery, who is making diversity and inclusion stickers. Love, Nerdbird. And then Drawstring Bag, designed exclusively for Stitches West. If you look on Instagram, you can be a part of her Women's History Club, her Juneteenth collaboration, and her Harriet Tubman Club. And of course, you can stop by her booth at Stitches West. That's Lady Di. Lavender Loon, we had a lovely interview when we went to when I was in Minneapolis. She is booth 815. Lavender Loon has a new yak fingering base debuting at Stitches. It's a new base used in the Adrian wrap, and there will be kits for it, and of course, a sample in her booth. She has many wearable colorways as well. So she has wearable, and then she also has her wild and fun colorways, like a new one named Bonfire. And she'll have bags by Woodsy and Wild in her booth. Lolo is going to be in booth 1039, and I really want you to go and smell all the smells and pick up all of the products. Their new product this year is Face Pudding. I I think I'm just gonna have to go and make an order right now because I'm so excited about all of their products. And they will have the lip balm, moisturizer, lotion bar, face cream, everything you want. Please, please, please stop by and please tell them that I sent you. Loop will be there with their yin yang yarn pairs. So I've talked about Loop before. I purchased the neon yellow and the neon sort of, I don't know if it's neon, but like the hot pink that I, that I saw at Vogue. And I actually just saw a shawl knit with two different loop yarns that were not the yin and the yang and they looked amazing together. It's like if you wanna get that marled look without doing all the work. Loop will also have the bullseye bumps which is self-striping roving wound into a center pole bump. Magpie fibers will be there. You've seen magpie here when I talked about my hat Dana which is a pattern by Denise Byron of Byron Handmade. Magpie will have a new soft blue colorway called Free Fallen and Spicy Beaver, which is a golden brown on both the Swanky Sock and Swanky DK. That sounds so nice. Lots of the favorite warm colorways dyed on DK and fingering. And she has many samples. She spreads out. She, she has a beautiful, beautiful booth. If you see their yarn and are a big fan, you can join 
their new Magpie Fiber Society right there in the booth. It'll be fun. Marionated Yarns, Marion has been on my channel and she is booth 1233. I just recently cast on my first project with Marionated Yarn and I love the spin and she has the best colors. She's going to have tons of yarn, sweaters quantities, tons of samples. There are sweaters designed by Notorious She. She is participating in the Stitches Scavenger Hunt and the Stitches Stitch Marker Swap. So that sounds like a really fun time. Brooklyn Boy Knits will be at the booth from 12 to 1 on Saturday, so that's a meet and greet that you can do at Mary Knitted Yarns as well. Nerdbird Makery, I mentioned her before. You've seen her pins and stickers on my channel before. I would love to have an interview with her. She's gonna have her Makers Gonna Make t-shirt. Ritual Dyes was on my channel when I did my Pacific Northwest tour. She will have her new moon belt bags. Of course, the knitter's backpack, which I use all the time and her naturally dyed ethically sourced yarns. I do believe she's having a, um, I, I think she has a Zodiac line out that she, she focuses on the Zodiac to inspire her dyes. So that might be a fun way to shop in her booth as well. Spin Cycle will be there. They are taking up 1136, 1138, 1235, and 1237. So that sounds like a nice little square quad situation. I have interviewed them on my channel, love everything they're doing. They collaborate with so many amazing designers and all of the yarn is grown, processed, and dyed in the US. Can, I will put a link to our interview and tour here so that you can check them all out and see what they're up to at Stitches West. Starlight is another one that I covered when I went to the Pacific Northwest. Starlight is in booth 1337. They have a new exclusive yarn, Mayhem by The Farmer's Daughter, and the colorway Sonray has been used for a sample of the Sonray sweater. I hope I'm saying that right, it's S-O-N-R-A-E. The sweater sample will be at Stitches West and there will be more colors coming soon. They'll have products from Ren and Ollie, Junk Yarn, Shelly Can, Twill and Print, Junebug and Darlin, Hudson and West, and Kelborn Woolens. That list could not be more amazing. I love that list. So definitely, definitely plan on stopping by Starlight in booth 1337. Stephen B will be there. Of course, he's been on my channel. He'll have his latest book, B Sides. Tons of fun yarn. When you go to the Stephen B booth, it's just like a party. So go and interact with Stephen and his amazing staff. They're all incredible people and you will come away with such a fun project that is a party. String will be there all the way from New York City. They have the new Chelsea collection with patterns and kits. They have Mode at Rowan yarn, which I've just been knitting with recently. Love it so much. Mode at Rowan has a new spring collection, so maybe you can pick up your spring summer knit project there. And a new yarn, Seisha Elegant, S-E-S-I-A. It's a blend of cotton and silk. It's DK weight with a bit of silver metallic. So that sounds super luxe. They usually have a wonderful array of cashmere as well at string, so be sure to check them out at Stitches West. Farmer's Daughter Fiber is doing a collaboration with Spin Cycle for the Fogline Shawl. The release is February 18th, which is today. So it sounds like it's hot off the presses. As soon as you go to Stitches West, you can head to their booth and find out all about that. Farmer's Daughter Fibers has been on my channel when she did a trunk show at Brooklyn General. Candace is a really beautiful dyer. I love her yarn and I'm looking forward to casting on a Caitlin Hunter sweater with her yarn soon. Yarn Culture will be there. Patty was on my channel during the Stitch Up Brooklyn. We did a mini interview during the Indie Dye Breakfast. I stopped by her booth at Vogue and purchased some yarn for the Sorel sweater. I ended up going a different direction with my Sorel sweater, but I met the dyer, Renee, who does this gorgeous spun right round. Yarn Culture actually has several different bases in their shop, including spun right round. So it's really fun because they, they again, they take up a lot of space and you can really get lost in the beautiful indie dyed yarns that are there. So come with a project in mind so that they can help you find the exact right yarn for it. They were so helpful to me at Vogue. I had such a great experience in their booth. So make sure you check out Yarn Culture at Stitches West. Yakagani Yarns will be there booth 1034. They have an exclusive 2020 show only, show only colorway called Funk Flamingo, which is debuting at Stitches West. They're introducing their Yoff Slub, it's Yakagani, so maybe it's Yak Slub, but they're slub textured yarn with single ply core. It's wrapped with nylon, and then it makes these nubs, which I've just been recently knitting with some slub yarn. It's really fun. It makes a really fun fabric. And they're gonna have many samples and accessories there, including kits for the Geo Deco by Corrado Lark, who you've seen here on Manch. 
I wanted to point out a few of the teachers there because not every single class is sold out as of this recording. It may be by the time you get on to the website, but I wanted to point out a few teachers who will be at Stitches West who you've seen here on the channel, starting with Tracy Percher. Oh, I hope I said your name right, Tracy. She was the winner of the Vogue Knitting Design Competition and she teaches a lot about tuck knitting, which is what you saw on my channel when she was talking about her new book. It may be fun to learn a new technique with Tracy, and she had some interesting classes listed there. Also, Zandi Peters will be there. She's been on my channel. She is teaching about the brioche stitch plaid and fox paws. So if you feel like I want some Zandi Peters in my life and I'm not sure how to approach it, go to a class with Zandi Peters. Cal Patch will be there. She, she has designed clothing for Urban Outfitters, Free People, Gap, Old Navy. She's like very prolific, and I, we had this lovely chat up um, in the Catskills, Hudson Valley. She mostly does crocheting, but I think here at the uh, Stitches West, she's going to do a one day skirt workshop, which would be really fun because then you could make a complete outfit, not just the knitting and crochet on the top, but also a skirt to go with it, cow patch. Patty Lyons will be there. She's teaching about decorative cast-ons and bind-offs. She's also teaching knitting and purling backwards, which I would love to learn. She has improve your knitting technique, Seriously Sassy Stripes, Customizing Sweater Technique, and Tubular Edge Cast On. So Patty Lyons, as you know, you've seen her on my channel so many times. She is so smart and so much fun. So if you can get into one of her classes, I highly recommend you try. Vicki Howe will be there. She has been on my channel. She has all these fun books like The Knit Vibe, which just came out. And she has been nominated for all of the awards for her amazing knitting television. She's going to be teaching log cabin knitting in a mitten and a boho ro rope and fiber basket and a slipper socks class. So if she has any openings, it's worth checking that out. She's a lot of fun. Louis Boria will be there, Brooklyn Boy Knits. He's doing the Hat Not Hate awareness campaign. He had a TED Talk, of course, and you've seen him on my channel. He's going to be teaching about designing your own hat. So if that sounds interesting to you, I think there's a few spots still left in his class. And finally, Steven Berg, who's the owner of Steven B. He is so playful with his colors and styles, and he's noted for saying, there are no mistakes, only variation. Uh, he's teaching about the lazy short row technique and how to mix color, telling your color story, tips and tricks for a lazy knitter, and of course his Ponchini workshop for all levels. So I'm so jealous. I wish I was coming to Stitches West. I hope that you can make some connections there from people you've seen here on my channel. You get to see them in person and to shop from them and be with them. I want to again thank my sponsor for this video, Lolo body.com <sighs> go and buy all the things from kisma at her booth and don't forget hookah girl is the best scent in all the land thank you so much for sponsoring and check them out at lolobody.com if you don't have a chance to go to stitches west yourself like me we'll be watching all of the instagram posts and stories and be so jealous of all the fun you're having but at least we can shop online as well thank you so much as always for checking in here at christy glass knits for my guide to stitches west 2020 and I'll see you next time. Bye. I also really love their tiny little potions. I said potions. <laughs>